Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to demo the new Crypto Steel capsule, which is a hardware device that allows you to back up mnemonic phrases and passwords for safe and secure storage. So let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to my home studio. Uh, I've got this great box that I received from the Crypto Steel people. It's a very mysterious looking secure box and it's got their new Crypto Steel capsule that you can use for backing up your mnemonic phrases or uh, a lot of other things actually. So I'm going to do an unboxing video for you guys. I'm going to show you how you set this thing up mechanically and then I'm going to talk a little bit about what a mnemonic phrase is how it gets generated, how it can, gets converted to an English readable format, the 12 or 24 words, and why it's so important, what exactly it is, and how it needs to be stored safely and securely as a backup for all of your cryptocurrency wallets. So we're going to have some fun with it. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, dig in and open this guy up. This crypto steel, mother of all backups, premier backup tool, portable data protection system for offline private key and password storage. So it it's more than just a mnemonic phrase uh, backup because it contains more than just the alphabet letters. Uh, it's got a lot of symbols uh, in the ASCII character set. So you can even use it for your passwords if you have a very uh, secure password that you would like to keep backed up in a safe and secure place. So all right, so let's uh, dive in here. I'm really excited about this. Can actually fold it backwards and then just kind of put it in front here. I've got the uh, key set right up in front so that uh, helped me uh, pick out the right letters. Okay, and there we go. So we've got the word uh, put on the spindle, and uh, we have a separator between each word, and then we put the fastener on the end, and we screwed it tight. Now, I can't tell you how wonderful this item feels. This is just a beautiful uh, quality piece of art, in, in my view. Uh, very sturdy, uh, obviously very high quality. And they give you plenty of letters for any of the words that you might need to create on here. And I'm here on the Mastering Bitcoin uh, GitHub page for Mastering Bitcoin, the Bitcoin book, uh, written by Andreas Andonopoulos. 
and uh, you can consult this little section here about wallets and find out a little bit more about how wallets are created. This would be a random wallet. And then this is a deterministic wallet built on one seed. So that's generally how most of the modern hardware wallets work. We have one seed and from that all of the other cryptocurrency wallets are generated so that all you need is that one seed to restore multiple wallets. So, and it builds kind of a tree here. And no matter uh, how many wallets you create, they'll always be regenerated if you use the seed to create the base seed. And so the seed starts with, uh, in this case, we're looking at a 12 word. It generates 128 bit random number, right? 128 bit random number. And then uh, it's run through a SHA uh, to create a hash, and then uh, it creates a check bit or a checksum, four bit checksum. Now that number, that long number, then is divided into 11 bit segments. And then they use a table to look up the words that we just talked about. And then this 12 word mnemonic is generated. And that is the basis of the wallet. Now from there, it does some other amazing things to create longer seeds for the wallet itself. But all of that can be recreated by simply giving the wallet these 12 words, or 24 in the case of a 24 word recovery phrase. And so now you can see how extremely important these words are. If I have your 12 words, I can regenerate your wallet and transfer your cryptocurrency somewhere else. So we do not want anyone to see these words. We want them to be stored safely and securely. We don't want to lose these words. All right, so we don't want to lose these words. We want to store them in a safe place. We don't want anyone to see them. So this can withstand fires and flood. It also is very inconspicuous. Someone might see it and uh, not really understand what it is or what it's for. Uh, you might find your own uh, DIY way to uh, store it. You might build it into something uh, bigger. Uh, you might store it, uh, hide it in a wall or something or inside another larger uh, machine or something of that nature. You know where it is. Uh, you could also let your loved ones know where it is. So there's a lot of different ways that we can uh, use this device for a safe and secure backup of our mnemonic phrases that control our cryptocurrency wallets. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you check out this product. Uh, I've got a link for it down in the description. You can't go wrong uh, if you want to store your 24 word or 12. <laughs> you can't go wrong if you want to store a 12 or 24 word recovery phrase. And then also uh, it can store passwords as well. So if you have a password manager and a master password, you could use this device to store that master password uh, and then leave instructions for your loved ones. Uh, if anything should happen, they would be able to access all of your passwords. So a uh, great and versatile device. Don't forget, I have a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for my live Q&A from Michigan where you can throw out your questions and I'll do my best to get them answered right then and there. I hope you show. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.